Last lesson we looked at onomatopoeia, words that are sounds, crash, boom, bang. All the sounds that we might hear as we walk through life, walk through a park, kick a pot down the stairs, whatever might happen, they're all the words that are sounds. Next, we're moving on to action. We're looking at all of the different things that we can do to make our story that little bit more exciting. When the reader first picks up our book, what catches their attention? This lesson we're looking at action. When we're focusing on action, the easiest way to look at what might constitute action is to look at action movies. What are all of the things that we see? In your workbooks, I want you to pause this video and write down 10 things that you might see in an action movie. Something that in an action movie, an action scene, action cartoon, action comic. What's something, 10 things that you see that makes it an action story, an action scene? Pause the video here and come back when you're ready. Well, almost dropped my marker and I hope that you pause the video and you've just come back. So we've looked at 10 things that make an action story an action, that make it action filled. When we're looking at action, a lot of the things on your list will probably be verbs. When we're looking at our verbs, these are our doing words. When we're talking about, about action, we're talking about running, dodging, ducking, diving. A lot of our ing words. When we just use our verbs, the character was running, we need to back that up with something to make it a little bit more exciting. So we're jumping over to adverbs. These are words that describe verbs. So when we're looking at our adverbs, we're looking at words like quickly, fast, slowly, haphazardly. Whatever words you can think of that describe the verbs that you're seeing. Carefully. He was running carefully, trying really hard not to step on any of the cracks in the volcano. When we're looking at our action scene, we're trying to find all of the different things that make the make the draw the reader into the story, make it that little bit more engaging, bringing them in, holding on to their attention. Next, I want you guys to pause this video and write down 10 verbs with 10 adverbs that describe those verbs. So our verbs are our doing words, 10 doing words. Adverbs, 10 words that describe those adverbs. So I'm gonna ask you to hit this pause button, work on your 10 verbs and your 10 adverbs. Boom, let's go. Now he's hoping that you've hit the pause button and you've just come back. If you haven't, hit that pause button now. Last lesson, we looked at our three paragraphs. The three starts to our three separate stories. Today I'm going to ask you to continue with at least two of those. So we're going to continue our stories And our next paragraph will be action. So, to say it one last time, our next activity, we're going to be continuing our stories. Our next paragraph will be talking about the action scenes that we, uh, the onomatopoeia scenes. We're starting with our onomatopoeia paragraphs, moving on to our action paragraphs. Continuing at least two of those stories. I would love to see you guys continue all three, but we're seeing how we go with these first two. Action, using our verbs, our adverbs, and all of our writing skills to draw the reader into our story.